thank you, Martin, for introduction. It's really a pleasure to be here uh, today with you. And my name is Sharon Sakalauskas. I'm representing company uh, HT Pool. Uh, we are official LinkedIn marketing solution partner in Poland, and uh, not only in Poland, we are representing LinkedIn in 30 markets in Central and Eastern Europe. And today I will be speaking about account based marketing on LinkedIn, actually, really trending topic. And uh, let's start. I would, let, I would like to start with Polish LinkedIn situation, because as you can see, in the last two years, from 2019 Q3 till to, uh, 2021 Q3, we have additional 1 million of new uh, LinkedIn members in Poland. And really impressive result, keeping in mind that LinkedIn is the first social network in the world. Uh, this year, uh, we celebrated LinkedIn's adulthood. So it means that during 16 years uh, in Poland, we had 3.5 million. And during the last two years, we got additional 1 million of new LinkedIn members. It's really impressive result. And uh, it means that LinkedIn trending, uh, LinkedIn trending in the, in the Poland and in all our region. But if we would look at the uh, general numbers, so actually only, still only 17% of uh, the social media users in Poland using LinkedIn, uh, I said only because actually if we would compare Poland with other uh, Western European markets, like for example, Scandinavian markets, I think the percentage is about 50. Uh, UK is, 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 is this, uh, one of the strongest uh, markets in, in, in Europe, it's uh, this percentage is 60. And for example, United States and Canada, it's uh, even even more than 70% of all social media users using LinkedIn. Uh, so 17, it's not really a huge number. But the good thing here is that actually, uh, if we would talk only about uh, Warsaw, uh, the capital city, uh, here you can see that actually the situation is much, much better. Yes. So uh, in Warsaw, we have 860,000 uh, LinkedIn members, and it's actually more than 50% uh, of social media users. So actually, it's the uh, general trend in all Central and European markets that actually uh, the bigger city, uh, the bigger LinkedIn usage actually we have. Another really interesting trend in, in our region is, is the uh, we, we are growing not only uh, in terms of, of new members, but we are growing in terms of new companies. And actually uh, here in Poland, I think we already have about 100,000 of companies on the platform. And uh, till now it was, uh, I would call it problem, because actually probably you noticed that, that uh, still a lot of people, they have created their LinkedIn uh, accounts with their personal uh, emails. So uh, it's really new feature. So only one month we have this my company LinkedIn verification with company email procedure, but it would really help us actually to associate our companies with our working emails. So for that, we need just to, 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 to visit my company page and uh, to verify it with our work email address. And we have to do it actually every six months because actually if someone leaving the company, uh, then companies actually would like uh, to show that one on another employee already it's not working for that uh, company. Uh, and uh, here's additional motivation why people should uh, verify actually uh, LinkedIn account with their uh, company uh, emails. So even all of you, if you would visit uh, company you company page of the company you're working for, uh, it's only welcome uh, to your employee only experience. Yes, so actually it's additional motivation because, for example, you can see not only you know the the new coworkers recently joined the coworkers uh, promotions or anniversaries, but also I think the most interesting thing uh, to double check what's trending coworker content. And it will be available only, only with verified, uh, with employee verified uh, accounts with uh, with working email. So definitely, this tool it will help to increase increase the percentage of uh, LinkedIn uh, personal profiles 
uh, we can associate with uh, uh, company pages. And why it's important? Actually, it's because of today our topic is account-based marketing. So the more employees will have their accounts associated with their company pages, uh, the bigger audience, the bigger right audience we will reach. And you can see already actually for the last two years, yes, account-based marketing is a rising strategy in B2B marketing. And actually LinkedIn data says that uh, more than 80% of companies expect to increase uh, their spend on account-based marketing. And when we're talking about account-based marketing, it's, it's, it's really simple, simple uh, five-step strategy. So first thing, we should talk about marketing and sales alignment. Second thing, it's uh, account segmentation. Third thing, it's a uh, bar committee. And we will look how it looks like in, 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 in today's world, yes? Then we should think about developing relevant content. And final steps, as always, you know, nothing new. <laughs> if we're spending uh, time on the platform, if investing our money, definitely uh, measurement is the key. So first thing, marketing and sales alignment. So I think all of you faced that situation that in all our markets, actually, in, in, in all our companies, uh, sometimes we're facing some kind of discrepancies between marketing and sales KPIs. And usually uh, we can we can see that it's, 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 it's pretty different priorities time from time, yes? So what's really important then, is to work in unison and actually to have joint marketing and sales strategy and to have joint KPIs. And here is really interesting numbers from LinkedIn custom insights that actually uh, 23% of sales relationship has been influenced by marketing, yes? And it means that we're leaving about 77% the gap and how to improve it. So LinkedIn is really a nice platform actually to, to improve and actually increase the engagement with marketing, improve sales effectiveness. So if we would look at the LinkedIn tools uh, for brand awareness, like sponsored content, videos, and after that LinkedIn tools we're using uh, for conversions, uh, for lead generation, uh, for due closing. So actually, when we're using those tools together, you can see that members are more likely to respond to emails from sales teams when they are exposed to more than 10 sponsored content impressions from that company. Also, it's 25% more likely to respond to sale navigator email if before we had you know, sponsored content or if you're talking about uh, connection requests. And in here you can see great example, great example, uh, how, you know, marketing and sales alignment can bring the results. So it's a first actually uh, uh, case. We use this uh, uh, format actually for the marketing and sales alignment. And we, uh, in Lithuania, we targeted uh, account list with uh, sponsored video. As you can see, uh, it's really a nice uh, option uh, for engagement. And after that, we retargeted uh, those companies and actually audiences who engaged with our video with sponsored email. Uh, but we retargeted with sponsored email from the brand. So actually, it's really nice tool that we can retarget not only from persons, but we can send sponsored emails from brand. And uh, here, it's possible to do with cooperation with all the partners in, in your market. So actually with HTPool account, you can retarget people uh, and, and companies, uh, not only from the personal uh, message, but from the message from the brand. And the results is pretty impressive because actually it was two times more registrations to test drive. And uh, probably reason why is that when we're targeting people from sponsored email from the brand, uh, we can do it only once per 30 days. Because if BMW would send uh, the email to all of us today, any company can't send another sponsored email from the brand for 30 days. And there's some kind of anti-spam policy LinkedIn using. And definitely, it's uh, that's why we have much higher open rate and that's why, especially if we uh, targeting uh, already engaged audiences, that's why the uh, uh, click-through rate uh, is also high. 
So it's really it's really great example of account based marketing. Uh, another example is from Adobe. As you can see, the the actually it could improve not only uh, uh, the number of the closed deals, but uh, uh, of 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 course it could improve even deal size. So when we were uh, focusing on accounts, uh, account based marketing, it could really bring great results. Uh, second thing is account segmentation. So when we talk about account segmentations, definitely uh, it's still uh, continuously a uh, work of uh, sales and marketing teams. And actually we should agree on those priority, of course, according to the, the, the relationship and connection density, according to the deal size and potential revenue, according to the client reverence with the space and uh, intent models based on deal stage and engagement. So uh, if you're talking about segments, definitely always good to have those tier one, tier two and tier three. Uh, so tier one would actually be thinking about, about uh, focus on, 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 on top priority accounts. Uh, tier two, uh, we have larger list and, and three tier. Uh, many accounts so actually, it's our example, how we in HT pool uh, using this this segmentation when we approaching the the companies in every market so uh, our top tier it's 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 uh, from actually uh, uh, discovery from from our results uh, and uh, our sales and marketing team cooperation we identify that actually it's top top 10 uh, clients from those uh, verticals IT technology fintech uh, uh, health and biotechnology uh, so we have a list of of uh, top companies. Uh, also, we we targeting uh, the most followed companies uh, on LinkedIn. So it's natural that the more followers you have on the platform, it means that actually the, 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 the platform is significant for you. And uh, tier three is actually startups ecosystem. So actually it's all potential, uh, all the companies working in the startup ecosystem. And definitely here it could be that some companies actually, they. they 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 will die yes but some companies they have a potential to become a top tier if they will be, if startup it will become unicorn definitely it will become top tier uh, uh, company so definitely uh, segmentation uh, in the abm is really is really matters the third thing is buyer committee so here uh, it's linkedin internal data according to the linkedin b2b institute even seven almost seven people on average uh, they're participating in the in the in decision making process uh, and in the, the, the b2b buying committee so actually uh, to reach to reach right companies we need to reach even few uh, uh, people from the company and here is the just simple example let's imagine that we would like uh, to target uh, decision making a uh, team uh, and we want to, you know, we organizing team building event. So just in Poland, we have 1.5 million uh, of LinkedIn users who marked HR as, as their interest. And uh, actually probably in HR field, if you want to, you know, to, to, to sell something related with team building, probably we need to target CEOs, HR directors, then definitely XCOs participating in decision-making process. Then probably we should think about new positions. So for example, in LinkedIn during last few years, we have uh, a lot of new positions like diversity manager, mood manager, and definitely all the employees with their actually uh, recommendations, they could participate in the, in the, in the, in that process. So here, how, how would look, you know, the, the decision making by our committee. And after that, definitely, we can double check with web website demographics, audiences we reached, actually, and then we can understand better who clicked on the, uh, on the, on the our advertising and who participated in decision making uh, process. So with partners like HT Pool, you have, you know, order additional insights reports about audience analyzer, because it's really important to understand the structure of audience actually visiting uh, your company page visiting your website. Also, we can, uh, it's detailed account-based marketing performance report. Also, we can order follower report and company page report and to compare 
uh, actually the structure of your followers with the structure of the people who are visiting your company page. And it really helps actually to, uh, to have better results. Uh, then fourth pillar is content personalization. So definitely, actually, when we're approaching the, the, the right audience, is actually different stages of funnel. So we are starting with problem identification, then solution exploration, requirements, and selection. Yes. So it's normal that actually in every stage of the of the buyer's mindset, actually we have different type of, of content. So definitely awareness phase, we are starting with top uh, thought leadership. If you're talking already about deep dives into products, then actually it's uh, it's webinars, it's 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 guides or ebooks. And finally, the uh, best cases, best practices is, is, is the final stage. Uh, then we are talking about uh, about yeah, probably even return on investment. Uh, I really like the slide. It's actually it's eight ways, uh, and it shows how strong is LinkedIn targeting. It's eight ways to ensure we are reaching the right companies. So actually, here you can see that uh, we can double test. Uh, and double check different targeting scenarios on LinkedIn. So we can target companies according to the industries, according to the company names, about uh, accordingly company revenue uh, and, and growth, uh, accordingly company list, company size, company followers, company connections, and other company attributes. And here is the actually any other platform don't know about our professional lives and uh, any other platform so much uh, uh, related and we don't have a synergy between personal profiles and company pages. So for example, if you're talking about targeting accordingly company industries, now we have more than 150 uh, industries on LinkedIn when we selected and good thing that it's really often updated uh, feature because actually uh, if we marking company industry in our personal profile, uh, we can expect to have more than 10 times our personal profile view. So actually company industry is, is always, you know, must when we end creating our personal profile and we, when we editing uh, company name versus company uh, list. So actually to reach the people at your target accounts by selecting them by the company name, we have a possibility to enter about uh, 200 entries. Uh, when we're talking about company list uploadings, here we have much higher number yeah, we can we can upload uh, maximum 300,000 companies uh, if you're talking about targeting accordingly company growth you can see it's possible on linkedin through campaign manager target either even the company with negative company growth uh, and you have a selection 3% uh, till 3% uh, to 10% growth 20 in even companies uh, fastest growing companies yes, with more than 20% growth. Also, the newest feature we have it only for, for I think, two or three weeks that finally we can target uh, companies according to the annual revenue. So it's uh, under 1 million or actually more than 1 billion. It's, it's, it's also a nice selection. Then we can target company connection and company followers. So with company connection, we can reach first degree connections uh, of employees at the companies we're selecting. Uh, when we're talking about company followers, we can reach followers of our company page. Uh, so it's also, it's, 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 it's pretty, pretty unique. Uh, if you're talking about company category and company size, so we can target from uh, startups, from, from you know, uh, really small companies, from, from uh, uh, to, 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 to large enterprise. And also we, on LinkedIn, we have uh, spe specific uh, company list, for example, Forbes, most uh, innovative companies, Fortune, uh, 100 fastest growing companies, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and definitely, actually, uh, all those targeting options related with the, with the formats we have. So actually, and those formats related with the, with the buyer uh, journey. So if, in, in, if you're talking about problem identification, then we're using video ads, uh, solution exploration, sponsored content solution, Exploration also could be used with message ads and final stage uh, when we talk about selection, then it's legion forms. And here you can see that actually uh, the, the perfect fit, uh, uh, which, which format is, is, is good for, for, for this stage. If you're talking about client examples, so actually uh, it's really, you know, it's really nice 
Genesis uh, uh, example how you know the right uh, uh, segmentation uh, could improve the results. Uh, here's another example that uh, personalizing content but company names also it could in, in improve results and here is you now uh, Jabra uh, Jabra case they were targeting all LinkedIn employees and uh, as we can see using the, the, the company name and, the, and, the, and, the, and that it could uh, increase uh, CTR by 1.5 percent uh, here is another example of personalization accordingly the vertical so actually if we targeting the companies from finance industry or from healthcare industry and if we marking that so definitely the targeted audience they actually reacting to that and as you can see from that example it could increase return on investment uh, by seven times and the same with personalizing content by stage and engagement so actually uh, it, it it also could 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 improve the results and we can we have you know higher CTR or or to reduce the uh, cost per lead, and the final stage always it's 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 measurement. If we're spending you know our our uh, money uh, on the platform, definitely we should uh, we should understand you know the uh, what effect it, it, it brings back. So actually, usually usually still it's it's also LinkedIn uh, research from 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 2018. Uh, Sixty percent of IBM marketers use engagement to measure success but uh, i would say that we should use different metrics in different uh, stage of of of, of bio journey so actually definitely if you're talking about problem identification it's it's a unique reach share of voice uh sitar uh but if it's already solution exploration then probably it's add engagement website engagement and mqls if, if it's a requirement it's add engagement website engagement and sqls and definitely, the, the, in the final stage, we we are looking at the at the sales cycle, the time we are spending to close the deal, and definitely return on investment. So actually, it's the, those five stage, uh, and uh, definitely keeping in mind that actually now we will have more and more uh, LinkedIn users uh, with uh, verified accounts with the reward emails, the account based. Uh, uh marketing strategy strategy it will be a really significant part of, of our linkedin strategy and uh, in the end i would like just to, to, to once again to mention the benefits of working with the linkedin partners in every market so actually hd pool we're representing linkedin in, in poland and actually those benefits is let's say that first thing you don't need to use credit card actually working with us you will receive uh, invoices and uh, it will be only uh, actual spend you spend during the last month so we not charging extra uh, uh, you don't have to pay for it to pull uh, any euro uh, also we can help uh, with strategies also we can help with you know technical support uh, we can help with trainings and uh, definitely probably the, the most important thing that actually uh, we are working with campaign optimization we can actually help with better targeting options with with, with better uh, bidding options and even with the creative part so it was really uh, nice to be here and if you would like to uh, continue or to to have a chat about account based marketing or another linkedin uh, feature you can always uh, reach our team in poland uh, here is you can see uh, my colleague in, in, in HT Pool Warsaw office, and they always will be ready to help you with uh, LinkedIn account based marketing or other LinkedIn marketing solutions. Thank you.